Welcome to the North Texas Workshop. Got a new Nova Viking DVR drill press a couple months ago, and I thought I'd do a quick overview and review of it. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Finally decided I need a new drill press. The one I had is an old Milwaukee, it was uh, made in 1980, got it from my dad. Worked a lot over the last 25, 30 years and finally went out. The uh, switch broke and decided, hey, it's time to get an upgrade, so I bought the Nova. Got the new uh, drill press installed on the same stand that I had the old one on, fit perfect. It was a little heavy getting it up there by myself, but was able to use the the drill press table retrofitted from the old one. Everything went pretty good, no major problems. Took about uh, less than 30 minutes to put together. It was very easy. It was heavy though, just doing it myself. That's my computer system that runs the CNC. It's called the Nova Viking uh, DVR direct drive uh, drill press. Replaced one that was a uh, 1970 something my dad had given me an old Milwaukee um, 15 inch bench top. This is a 16 inch bench top. It is not the Nova DVR uh, floor model that many of you might have already seen. This is new this year and it's a 16 inch uh, desktop model. Um, but I just love it. It just got so many features uh, that I love. Right, uh, starting with the display, I can turn lasers on and off and the lasers weren't exactly set right, but it just took me a few minutes to get them set right. Biggest thing is the speed. I can turn this on and adjust the speed with this dial. And this thing can really start screaming. As you can see, it's uh, no belts, no pulleys to move, just set the speed. I actually change the speeds now. I've never done that before. I've always just kept it whatever it was set at. Another neat feature is it's got a self-start function. So once that's triggered, if this moves down about five or seven millimeters, it uh, starts automatically. I did test the run out on this. Uh, did it both with a, I had trouble finding a bit that was straight. Uh, found a, a something from the CNC, a half inch one, and it's uh, anywhere, f the biggest um, run out was at uh, 0 0.0015 or something. And if I measure off of the spindle, it's, it's less than 0 0.001 variance as it rotates around. So it's much more accurate than I expected it to be. Um, it does have a reverse function can go in reverse. So if you're tapping something or there's some other times I've actually wanted it to reverse, this does reverse. Uh, really the, the part that is really works good on this is the depth setting. So I can go down and move it to down to say the top of the wood, say if that's the top of the wood. And I zero that at there. Now we're at zero. And I can go down to 0.75 and it has now locked that in. And when I hit self start, it'll start. And it starts beeping when it gets close to 0.75. And it, and it reverses and comes back up. I mean, that's pretty slick. And you, you're totally repeatable. I've never been able to do that. It does have a manual depth over on the side, which you probably can't see. Emergency stop, the laser, the self-start, the depth setting, just uh, an awesome machine. Um, the only thing I don't like about it, and nobody's mentioned this, and uh, I actually called them, and uh, it's working the way it's supposed to, is um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. So the depth is reset now. I'm gonna zero it out at the top at zero now. But if I hit set depth, I can change it with the dial and choose how deep. But watch it goes from 2.5, 0.25 to three. 
there's no point two seven five. It's does the increments are way too big to use this dial. It's actually easier just to move this down. Uh, I don't know how to cancel it now. How to turn it off? I found it's easier just to bring it down and watch it manually bring it down to where I want it, then hit the set depth. So I can set it anywhere I want. Um, other than that, it uh, works great. Well, I hope you enjoyed the uh, review and overview. Uh, really do like this thing. God, it is so much better than the one I had. Uh, I'm gonna start posting more videos. Uh, I've got a few coming up already in the works. So if you're interested in this type of stuff, a lot of it'll be around CNC focused. So. Uh, go ahead and subscribe below, hit the like button, hit the alarm, whatever, and uh, we'll see you down the road. Thanks. Mm -hmm.